Patriots football is officially back with the first preseason game kicking off tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time versus the Carolina Panthers. I asked you guys many weeks ago that if you wanted me to go live, I just needed 25 new subscribers on that video alone. And we got it, which means we will be live tonight starting at 6.30 p.m. Come hang out. Let's have a good time, have some drinks, and finally celebrate that Patriots football is back. But on today's show specifically, I want to talk about the top players that I will be watching in tonight's preseason game. I'll give you guys why I'm watching. You guys be able to comment. Let me know who you guys will be looking at, seeing how they're playing out, because there's still two more preseason games to go against the Eagles and the Commanders. So I'll be very excited to see what they do in their first game tonight. But if you guys are glad Patriots football is back, go on ahead, hit that thumbs up button for me. The more thumbs up we get, the more Patriots fans I know are out there watching this channel. So all you guys have to do, hit the thumbs up. I'll do all the work. Who's going to be playing tonight? That's what I'm wondering. The thing is, I kind of hate preseason games. I mean, I don't because football is back, but I do because it's such a tease. But Gerard Mayo said, everyone who's healthy enough to play in the game will play in the game. Hallelujah. So let's go on ahead and jump into who I'll be watching and what positions I'll be watching. Obviously, no brainer here. I'm looking at the quarterback. I'm looking at Jacoby Brissett, Drake May, Bailey Zappi, and Joe Milton. Why? Because Gerard Mayo said that all four quarterbacks will be getting reps in four quarters against the Panthers. Gerard Mayo says the plan is for Jacoby Brissett to start the Patriots preseason opener Thursday versus Carolina. And that all four QBs are expected to play th through plans, of course, though plans, of course, can change. Well, the player that I want to be looking at, and I assume most of you guys do, is Drake May. But I'm also very intrigued to see what Joe Milton is going to do as well. We know that Milton has already surpassed Bailey Zappi. We know that Joe Milton has a phenomenal, incredibly strong arm. But how is he going to do with quick slants? How is he going to do with wheel routes? How is he going to do with first downs? Same with Drake May. Can his accuracy be there? Will he have any interceptions? Jacoby Brissett, is he going to get his ass knocked in every single play because our offensive line sucks? Hopefully that's not the case. But if I had to pick out of these four quarterbacks who my eyes will be on, who I am most intrigued to watch tonight, it's got to be Drake May. It has to be, right? The hype that we've surrounded this kid with since April has to come down to how he will look in a real live setting. So far in training camp, he struggled with accuracy and consistency through 11 practices. There have been some great plays. There have been some really not great plays. There have been more than one instance he has only completed three out of double-digit passes. Get prepared to be hit in the backfield. Can Drake May take a sack? We know he could at UNC, but these are big boys. These are men that are now going to be coming at him. And according to Patriots training camp, multiple defenders have tagged May, Brissett, and Milton. You've got Josh Uche, Jelani Tavai, Matthew Judon, Keon White, obviously no full contact because it's practice. Can he showcase his athleticism and his arm strength while still being a good quarterback, smart in the head, smart on the field? Will he be mobile? Will he show us that he doesn't have to be a pocket passer? Will he show us how he scrambles? Can Joe Milton... Even outplay Drake May in the minutes that he gets, because there's already been some rumors out there that he's looking a little bit better than May in camp. May has since diminished those rumors, but could this game tonight mean something different? Who are you most excited to watch? Type DM for Drake May. Type JM for Joe Milton. All right, let's go to the defense. I'm watching the edge rushers. I'm watching the DNs, the D tackles. I'm going to watch Matthew Judon, the linebackers as well. But mainly I want to talk about two guys here. I want to talk about Keon White and Matthew Judon. The reason why I'm intrigued with Matthew Judon, if he plays tonight, is that Judon has been in and out of practice because of his beef with the front office that they're not paying him. So Judon has sat. Judon has participated, but not to an extent that you would like to see a player that just came off an injury. So I'm really intrigued to see that if he does play tonight, how will he look? Will he look like he needs to have his ass back on out in the field, participating with the rest of his team, or will he prove he is just as dominant coming back from a bicep injury? Not to mention, Keon White 
had said there's only been two practices with live hits. The one thing I love about Keon White is that he's a headhunter. He has said multiple times, I just want to hit somebody, man. And they haven't had that opportunity just yet. That's why a lot of these guys are really excited to start putting some pads on and hitting players that aren't on their team. But what I want to see from Keon White specifically is that he talks a big talk on the practice field. And I love that. Keep showing me your aggression. Keep showing me you want to go out there and be the best version of yourself. But the one thing I didn't really enjoy last year was that I didn't see a lot of translating to the field in games. Did he have great games? Absolutely. But I've seen a lot of hype surrounding Keon White heading into year two, which Gerard Mayo said way back in OTAs, he's the kid you need to watch. Well, I need to see that going up against a team that's not your Patriots. I need to see that on the field. So I'll be watching Keon White. Why? I'm looking for striking hands and separation. I've seen a lot of drills where he has very quick hands, quick hits, moves around, quick hits, swims over. I want to see that separation. I want to see him continue to get closer and closer and closer to the quarterback on every single play. He may not play a whole bunch, though. He's already stated that. He doesn't know how much he'll play. I can't imagine it's going to be a lot because this is where I hate the preseason. It's such a tease. But I want to see if he has other techniques outside of his power move. We know he's strong. We know he bullies. But show me you can be smart. Show me your hips can roll. Show me you can go through the trenches and juke out your players if you're not going to bully them one-on-ones. That's what I want to see with Keon White if he gets a lot of playing time tonight. Hold on real quick. I got to tell you about game time. Why? Because if you guys want to go to a Patriots preseason game, well, I need you, you, I need you to use game time. Why? Because it's the best app to go on ahead and get tickets at the lowest price guaranteed. Tickets where you can actually see in 3D form where you're going to be sitting, how close your guys are going to be to the action, and it's the best prices when you want to get your tickets last minute. Don't know if you want to go to a preseason game? I get it. It's football, but it's not football. But thankfully, game time. Whenever I'm procrastinating or I get a text saying, hey, we got the Red Clay Strays playing at Billy Bob's, which is in Dallas, Texas, which is where I went two weeks ago, it was super easy for me on the day of the concert to say yes because I went to game time and I said, absolutely, I will be buying this at the lowest price guaranteed. So if you guys want to go check out the New England Patriots, want to go check out the Boston Red Sox, or any concerts that will be around your area, go on ahead, download the game time app, create an account, Use promo code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. You're going to get $20 off your first time buying tickets while terms do apply. Imagine getting tickets at the lowest price guaranteed and then another $20 on top of that while your terms do apply to get your first ticket purchase using promo code CHATSPORTS. Two wide receivers are going to have my eyes locked and loaded on our watch party tomorrow night. Starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, come join us to see what Jalen Polk and Javon Baker really are all about. I have a really strong feeling they're going to be in the game for quite some time. And I've been noticing that Jalen Polk is going to lean more towards wide receiver one. But Javon Baker, he's your big playmaker. Now, Kendrick Bourne obviously has not been participating in practice because he's still injured, so we will probably start the season on the pup list. So that means Javon Baker is going to move up to Kendrick Bourne's spot. Then you're going to be able to see a little bit of Kayshawn Booty, Jalen Rager, and Tyquan Thornton have been competing for a spot right underneath Jalen Polk. And then K.J. Osborne, the former Viking, and Juju Smith-Schuster underneath that slot position with Pop Douglas. But let's talk about Baker and Polk. Why? Because this is the future. This is the future of New England football. And that may be very early to say, but they did not go after Brandon Ayuk anymore after putting that trade out there because he said they're excited about their young receivers and want to focus on them. That means Polk and that means Baker. I have loved what I have seen so far in training camp. It looks like Javon Baker and Jalen Polk have just completely exceeded expectations that they were supposed to have from the NFL draft. You've got a fourth round steal, and you got the first pick in the second round with Jalen Polk. And we know that he's already played with a phenomenal quarterback in Penix at Washington last season. The second round pick in the 2024 NFL draft, about six foot one, 203 pounds. And then Javon Baker on the other side, he's showing that he's got more of a pop more of an explosion. He's climbing over Christian Gonzalez, Alex Austin, Jalen Hawkins to make sure he's got that rep down pack. So now I'm excited to see that on defenders on the other team. I'm tired of him 
duking out our own defense. Let's just go see how he does in real time. So if you guys like the future of the Patriots wide receiver room, go on ahead, like this video. If you're glad we didn't get Brandon Ayuk, like the video. If you have faith in the wide receiver room, like this video. Moving back over to the defense, talk about Jalen Hawkins in specific terms. When you're talking about Hawkins, I know that there was still a lot of room to grow in this safety room when you've got Kyle Duggar and Jabril Peppers, who are phenomenal, probably your top two players in your secondary, but then it just kind of fades away in the depth chart. That's why I want to see what Jalen Hawkins does. You need more depth behind Duggar and Peppers, two of which have gotten an extension this last year. So I need to know in preseason, which is where they tend to shine, if Jalen Hawkins can step in if a Duggar or a Peppers do get hurt in the regular season, which could happen. And we have seen so far with somebody like Hawkins is that he does have good plays and he does really well when he starts out in that tight coverage. He knows where his man's at. If he can have a hand on the hip or one right by him, that's a good, good route for Jalen Hawkins. But if there's a little bit of separation, he's lost. He is completely lost, especially in the end zone, which gives me heart palpitations. Seeing this guy run with his head cut off in the end zone. So there are some things he does still need to work on, but why I'm watching Hawkins in specific terms is that he has secured a handful of, of interceptions at camp. Some have been tipped from other defenders, and he's right there to grab it and haul it in. Others have just been from his own regards. So I like that the interception is there. It seems like he's on the ball. But when playing in tight coverage, he does tend to have that good nose for the ball as well. He knows where it is. He reads the eyes phenomenally. But he needs to clean up recovery after getting beat because you're going to get beat in this league. That is a guarantee. But when you get beat, how quickly do you come back to fill your role, stay with your man, and prevent a completion from happening? That is what I will be watching. But it all starts with the offense, the offensive line. What can Drake May do? What can Javon Baker do? Well, I guess it only depends on how much time everybody has because of the offensive line. So I'm talking about the tackles in particular. Caden Wallace, who's been running at left tackle, so is low as well. And then you got a core four at your right tackle. But Caden Wallace has also been popping up in that right tackle position, as well as Calvin Anderson running with the twos, but sometimes with the ones as well. Well, the reason why I'm really specific to the left tackle right now is because Caden Wallace went to the tent yesterday. He, he left practice. He came back pretty gingerly, and it doesn't seem to be anything too serious, but that's going to happen. These guys are defending trees. They're defending, they're defending transformers every single play. They're going to get injured. So I'm going to be excited to see what Vidarian Lowe and Calvin Anderson are going to do if they do start off the season as the second string left tackle and right tackle because he may not use Wallace and a core for as much in preseason and allow that second string to really start to run through. So I want to see what Lowe and Al Anderson can do, and can they possibly still be competing for a top spot on the offensive line? Are you guys still worried about the offensive line? Comment why, comment why not. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. While we do have a preseason game later tonight, and we will be live tonight as well, starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Come hang out with us. Drinks will be flowing. Prizes will be given away. And we're going to be talking about New England Patriots football finally tonight on Patriots Today by Chat Sports.